folks, Rob Davenport here from webtalkrevolution.com. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make groovy cover art for your podcast. Um, you can also use it in other places. And uh, with some changes of dimensions, you can even use it on YouTube. So let's get started. You can see here on screen, I have one that I've already done up. Uh, it took me about five minutes to make this. So I just wanted to, um, you know, do a test run of the tutorial before I got started. And this is what I came up with. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're going to want to do is go file new. And in our dimensions, we're going to put this in as 1400 by 1400, which is currently uh, the maximum resolution for cover art on iTunes. We're going to click OK. And now, you know, to get started, I always like to start with an image. And uh, one of the best places you can get images from, I'm just going to pull it over on screen here, is. Um, freeimages.com and they have all kinds of great stock footage um, or stock images that you can grab for free. Um, in a lot of cases, it's royalty free too. So anyhow, um, I grabbed, uh, where is it? This one and the silhouette for our cover art. So put that back. Okay. So let's start with the base image. Uh, I just got this one with the guitar. Uh, this is going to be for a rock and roll podcast. And you're just going to want to, if you press Control T, you'll see that these little arrows show up here, and you can just drag and move it around until you get it in the spot uh, where you're happy. Looks good. And there we go. So one thing I noticed about this is it's, it's a little too bright and in your face. So when you put text on it, it's going to be really hard for it to stand out. So one thing um, I do, I'm just going to zoom out and uh, we'll go down to our rectangle tool and we're just going to draw a rectangle across the top here. And so there we go. We have our rectangle. Now, you notice it obviously covers up all the cover art. Um, we're going to change the, the color to a, like a dark red, something to kind of match in with the scene. And once you have the color that you want, you're going to right click on the rectangle layer and click rasterize layer. And now that we have our red solid there, we're just going to go to layer, uh, layer mask reveal all and that will bring up your layer mask so you can do some cool stuff so once you have your red solid we're going to want to come over here to our gradient map tool and we're just going to click and drag down and hold shift at the same time that will make this nice straight line and we'll just release it and there you go now Still not quite the color I was looking for. So we're just going to come over here to our layer area, double click. And then we're going to go in and you can either, you know, turn on color and uh, play with your color that way. Make it all kinds of different colors. Or you can also use a gradient and uh, come up some, with some really cool color patterns that are really different um, depending on what you're looking for. And I think that's actually what I'm going to go with, a nice darker layer there. Now, it's still too bright up on the top. So what I'm going to do is go back to my rectangle tool. I'm going to drag out a little one here that covers most of the spotlights. And we're going to change that color to a dark red as well. Click OK. And there we go. And so... Next thing you're going to want to do is add in some text. Now, when you're adding in text, there's a good rule to follow in design called the rule of threes, meaning you should have three sections that the eye follows to. So I'm going to, I thought I'd explain that first before we get doing this so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about. But to get started, we're just going to call this rock and roll podcast. And we're just going to take it. Uh, you want to leave yourself a little bit of a margin because, uh, Different devices will crop off little pieces of this. So if you leave yourself a little margin, you're almost guaranteed your text won't be cropped. And uh, 
we're going to want to make this text bigger. So you can press Control T to bring up the transform tool and scale it up. Now, obviously, that's not the color I want. So we're going to go over here to our tool and uh, change our color. I think maybe actually we'll just go with gray. How about that? Okay, so you got it. You know what? This doesn't look right with these lowercase letters. So why don't we go over here to our character uh, rollout and we'll see this one with the two T's beside each other. We're just going to click on that and bam, we're all capitals. So now it's too big for the area. So we'll just scroll it back down, control T and adjust it to where you want it. And same with the square here. You can just move it up a bit. And okay, so I always find it's good on like your podcast cover art to uh, give a good description of the show. So we're just going to call this one Rockin' the Night Away. Another thing you should note about your podcast artwork, you're not allowed to put your URL in there. So if you try that, uh, Apple will decline you based on your cover art. And uh, let's change the cover of the color. Um, yeah, I like that red. Now, obviously, this doesn't look the best. If I spent the time, it would probably look closer to this one. Um, <laughs> but it was still quite easy. And that just gives you the basics of how to do stuff. Now, you're going to want to play around and do this a few times, see how you like it. And uh, when you get it quite right, then you can upload it to your podcasting thing. So I just want to get that tutorial out of the way because starting next week, we're going to start doing some really cool tutorials. I've actually canceled uh, my main show about a month ago, and now I'm getting ready to launch a brand new show in a totally new market where nobody knows my name. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing it all from the very beginnings of the show, uh, getting the show concepts together, choosing domains, setting up WordPress. Uh, recording the shows, setting up the assets for the show, like overlays, lower thirds, all that stuff. Um, and that's all going to be coming out um, in this tutorial. Plus, we're going to have an advanced section in our learning center come September 1st. So keep staying tuned to Web Talk Revolution. If you haven't subscribed yet, do so. Click on the button below. I'm Rob Davenport. And uh, don't forget to swing by the website, webtalkrevolution.com. We'll see you next week.